So according to Grand Theft Auto Online, ending A doesn't make sense anymore. So I want to talk about this, and there's definitely going to be a lot of spoilers here, but this game is nearly five years old. So at this point, are they still really spoilers? Today, we're going to be talking about why ending A, according to Grand Theft Auto Online, no longer makes sense. So before we can talk about Grand Theft Auto Online, let's talk about ending A, or I guess I should really say the final mission. So in the final mission, you're approached by Devin Weston, and he essentially tells you you've got three choices. You can kill Trevor, which is ending A, you can kill Michael, which is ending B, or you can go on a death wish, which is ending C. Now, I think ending C is like the canon good guy ending where everyone lives, but it's one of three options you can choose from. It doesn't require you to do that. So ending A is the one we're going to be talking about today because in that, Trevor dies. And we know that the GTA 5 campaign takes place in 2013 when the game originally came out. Now, for the longest time in Grand Theft Auto Online, it didn't matter what ending you selected because Grand Theft Auto Online took place technically six months before the campaign. So Meriwether was still intact. Trevor was still alive, etc. All of that was good to go. However, in the gun running update, which happened in 2017, Agent 14 actually confirms that GTA 5 takes place in 2017. He mentions this in one of the cutscenes during one of the missions. We're mole hunting. One of our agents has been turned by a rival state. Yeah, it's 2017. I can't believe it either. He's using our own facilities to down the network and cover his escape. We're allocating you some lethal technology to stop that happening. The mobile jammers will have protection. Deal with the guard details, take out the jammers, and we'll be able to trace this mall. So he clearly says Grand Theft Auto Online takes place in 2017. Then in Smuggler's Run, the update after gun running, Ron confirms that Trevor has gone Vinewood, meaning he has like moved to Los Santos. So that would mean in 2017, Trevor is alive. And the only way this would make sense is if you chose ending B or ending C. Ending B is where Michael dies, and we don't see Michael in Grand Theft Auto Online at all, or ending C where all three of them are left alive. So I think that Rockstar has really screwed up the timeline here of GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online, almost because they couldn't make up their mind of where which one takes place. You know, does GTA 5 happen before Grand Theft Auto Online? Does Grand Theft Auto Online happen before GTA 5? It's really messed up right now, and it just doesn't make sense. And I don't know if Rockstar ever meant to have GTA 5 line up with Grand Theft Auto Online, but there certainly is a lot of overlap. We see a ton of characters like Lamar, Trevor, Ron, Lester. Uh, they all overlap from that game. So even if they didn't mean to, their characters do, which is certainly pretty interesting. So I think Rockstar's original thinking for this was online was supposed to be prior to single player. That's why Lester said he had some guys in mind for the jewelry heist, but they were just too volatile. Now, in the mission judging the jury, the players are the ones that kill the jury that Franklin is discussing to Michael when Madrazo is introduced. The problem is, if that's canon, which online players did that? That's why it's impossible to canonize something like that. So, in effect, does that make our characters part of single player as well? That's the big question here, and that's sort of the mystery that ultimately Rockstar has created. There are a ton of examples where characters are in multiple universes, even doing the same jobs. And then it almost begs the question, are they two separate games? Does Rockstar consider GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online separate games from themselves? Uh, and that's a whole nother discussion right there. I think at the end of the day, the point Rockstar is trying to make is that story and online don't have the same history and they aren't based off of any real story. They're just some references that may match the story that give you the impression they could be in the same world. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Which ending do you think makes the most sense now that you know this information? Do you think ending C still makes the most sense? Is it ending B due to what happens with Meriwether? Uh, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. 
your like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.